nobody's gonna hate you for not liking Star Wars. I mean, only the true Star Wars fans who've really taken to heart the story will undoubtedly understand that not everybody's gonna have the same opinion and you need to not cut their arms off if they don't agree with you. So it's totally okay that you're not a fan of Star Wars. I'm okay with it. Also, I don't know if you can hear right now, but I live next to an Air Force base, and the constant screaming of jets can be heard even though your windows are closed. But to answer your question about, you know, would I be a super villain or a nice not villain person, I'm gonna give you this one example of Han Solo. Han Solo, as we all know, is the true hero of Star Wars, and the most handsomest one that there ever was. But his past is a little uh, sketchy, right? I mean, he smuggled illegal drugs, but he also freed slaves. But he also actually went to the Imperial Academy and learned how to fly TIE Fighters, but then later on he helped blow them up. So I'm gonna go with Han Solo because he really shows that there is not really a set, like, label on a person being good or evil. It's all down to what you choose to do. In book-related news, I picked this up at Barnes & Noble the other day for like six dollars because it was on sale. And, I mean, of course it's amazing because Steve Martin, I mean, like, THE Steve Martin, but also, look at this book cover. How awesome is this? It's so beautiful. Itself. Aha! There's probably some artsy thing that I'm not understanding about it, but I just think it looks nice.